Entitled and lazy. Are you a child? Sir, you don't look like you like women. So. And there it is, automatically with the shame, the blame, and the insults. Instead of addressing what men are talking about. You know, men have preferences and standards just like women do, but they're overlooked because they don't matter. Women expect men to just accept them how they are. I'ma just call a spade a spade. You're out of shape. You got a tattoo on your arm. You got fake hair and everything else. Men don't like, typically like those things. Will there be men that tell you exactly what you wanna hear so they can get into bed with you? Of course, but you're not marrying none of those men, are you? Those men are not committing to you. Address the issues that men bring up. Just like this person said, these modern day women are so entitled and lazy, which they are. No one is paying all your bills. Are you a child or a partner? Seems like a valid question to me. So why all the blame, the shame, and the insults? Why immediately go to, sir, I don't think that you like women. Why? Because he's pointing something out that you don't like. I could say the same thing about you. It seems like most of these women don't like men because they refuse to accept what men want and what men ask for. Isn't that the same thing? Why does it only go one way when it comes to relationships and dating? Why must it always be about what the women want, what the women prefer, what the women desire? But when it comes to a man pointing out flaws or issues or inconsistencies, it's sir i don't think that you like women no he just don't like you and a lot of men probably don't like you ladies it's not enough just to be a woman and just say i'm the table that's all i have to offer and you should just give me all these things it's not enough now there it's been years since this stuff has been going on more and more men are catching on to it more and more men are not falling into this trap that you guys try to set. More and more men are starting to realize that, hey, I don't have to prove nothing to no woman. I don't have to spend money on women to prove that I'm valid. No woman deserves my resources just because. And this is what these ladies are mad at. And because she's black, I'm gonna address that because I'm a black man too. This is the exact type of attitude that black men can't stand. And black men don't like all this extensions and all these septum piercings and all these tattoos and all these out of shape bodies with all kind of extra roles here and there. I'm going to call it what it is. Women have all these standards for men. Men have standards too. Men love fit, feminine, feminine and friendly women, which you are not. So let's just call it what it is. So you can try to throw as many assault, uh, insults as you want to men because they disagree with you and because they have standards but at the end of the day it's going to be you looking back in the mirror lonely it's going to be you as a single mom or no mom with kids or with dogs and animals and and you're alone that's what's going to happen to you because you guys refuse to drop this attitude you think you're all that you think you're worth more than what you actually are you think you're more attractive than what you actually are. You think you're special and you think you're unique, but you're not. For every one of you, there's a thousand other women that are younger than you, more fit than you, prettier than you, have a less stanky attitude than you. So men are just not putting up with it. So ladies, if you want to continue to be single and be lonely and make TikTok videos about begging for men for attention and how you're single and you're crying and all this stuff keep down this this path right here keep following women like her because this is what's going to happen to you you see men are tired of it it's just the bottom line you're not entitled to anything that a man has has just like he's not entitled to your body you have the power to achieve anything you want don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.